Hello, this is Robin with Art and Gifts. And I have an abundance of these little flowers in my yard. So I ordered this uh, microwave flower press. And we'll just see how it works. These are some wildflowers from seeds that my niece sent me. And I think this is um, Lantana. And these are just some little wildflowers and little bell kind of flowers. So, um, this is E-T-C-O-K-E-I, Microwave Flower Press. I've had good reviews on Amazon. It wasn't very expensive. So let's see what we have here. I have microwave flowers in the um, microwave with paper towels. But I didn't really have a way to press them down. So this came with some foam pads and then these thin cotton fabric things. Oh, and there's two of these, thank goodness. I thought, oh, hold on, I've already lost one. <laughs> All right, so it says, most flowers need the one burst in the microwave to get dry. The felt pads are made of pure wool, and it's normal to emit odor while heating. Uh, the most common mistake is using too long a pressing time in the microwave, which causes the felt pads to burn. Microwave testing is required when the first time you use it, and every time you use a new flower pressing. Start with minimum power and the shortest time. Gradually increase power and time. Press your least perfect specimen first. And if your timing isn't correct, you can correct your cycle time. None of these are perfect. I just pulled them out of the garden. Uh, do not use in convection ovens or a regular oven. Priming the fill pack. When first using your press kit, or when the felt pads have dried out during storage, they should be primed by spraying or sprinkling with some water on the fabric sheets. I guess that's these. And placing the assembled press in the microwave for 10 to 15 seconds on full power. Oh, without anything in it. Okay. So, I have to sprinkle these with water, throw it in the microwave full power for 10 to 15 seconds. Now, my, like, if you just push the button, it goes to 30, so I'll just have to watch it. I don't think I can even set it for 10 seconds. I just have to watch it. It's recommended to spray the felt pads wet before you use in groups of birds. So maybe we spray both things. Huh. Well, maybe I spray this and do that thing when it's empty, and then I spray the felt pads. When pressing multiple layers of flowers, it's recommended to put the same flower in each layer. Put the thinner flowers in the middle. Well, I only have two of these, and I imagine the flowers go... So maybe you can order extra packs of these so you can continue layering up. But I only have the two. After each burst, it's best to turn the press over and carry out the next round. But oh, that's smart. You just flip it over. Upside down. Do not remove the flowers right away until they're completely cooled. When cool, free the flowers from the cloth by stretching the fabric.